Hello friends and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to use the Citicon password validation tool. In the last video I showed you how to use the email validation tool and today I'll be demonstrating how to use the password validation tool. So for this validation tool to work you need at least two text box um, label to display some errors. So let's see the properties that we have under this validation tool. So if you right click the, vali the validation tool or the component and click on properties a properties tab will pop up so here we can see that uh, the the component allows or disallows white spaces by default white spaces are disabled but you can choose whether to allow or to disallow white spaces you can also set the maximum password character by default it is eight as you can see right here that the ma password default minimum length is 8 and the password default maximum length is 50. So this refers to the number of characters that are allowed in the password. You can also set the password strength. It can either be low, medium, strong or strongest. So we're going to be demonstrating all these types that we have right here. So to work with this password validation tool, it will need at least two controls if you see here the input controls it is the password text box so this will be the te first text box where you're going to input your password or where the user is going to input their password and the password confirm box is going to be the second text box where the user is going to confirm their password so these two properties accept a type of control which is a citicon text box they do not allow any type of controls to be attached to this property, only the Citicon text box. So the Citicon text box is the only allowed type control for these two input fields, the password text box and the confirm password text box. So these are default password policies as we have seen them. The password default maximum length is 50 and the password default minimum length is 8 so by default the user cannot put less than a password with less than 8 characters it has to be between 8 and 50 or between 8 and the maximum length that you allow here so you as a developer you can configure the maximum allowed length between 8 and 50. If you try to put a number that is less than 8, it will revert to 8. And if you try to put a number that is greater than 50, it will uh, just revert to 8. So the component allows you to only allow passwords that are between 8 and 50. So the theme that we have right here, these are colors that can be displayed when a password is not, does not match with its uh, the confirm password does not match with its password or when the two do not meet the password strength is set here by default the password strength is strongest this is the default but you can configure so i'm going to be demonstrating how to use all of this so i'm going to start with low and i'm going to allow our password to be between um, eight and eight characters to see what happens so before we start there are two controls that we mentioned earlier on right there the password text box and the password confirm box they have to target the text box and the confirm password text box for that to work so we're going to be selecting this password text box and this confirm password text box so let's select the password text box and the confirm password text box to show errors i've added a label right here and this component allows errors to be displayed or messages to be displayed under this display category we have this message label this allows uh, the user to see the messages that are displayed whether the password is a success or it is an error hence it does not match this allows any control this can be a label an input any type of control that would display the message i rather choose the label because the label is read only it cannot be edited rather than to put a text box so let's choose this label as the control that is going to display our error the message password message text box as we can see right here is the one that has been chosen here so let's run our application to see what we have so far 
Let's give Visual Studio a moment to save the few changes that we have made and let us check what we have so far. There it is. So this is the default text. I want you to see what happens as I, con as I type here and here. Remember, the default password length is 8 to 8. So if I type, for example, 3 A's or 1, 2, 3, confirm password cannot be blank. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Password must be between 8 to 8 characters. Okay, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Password is valid. If I write anything, it will tell me that the password do not match. If I write that, it will tell me that the password must be between 8 to 8 characters. So we can configure this. Let's set 10 as the default max, maximum length and, and run to see if the validation tool is going to allow us to input up to 10 characters. As we have seen that by default, it was allowing us 8. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's now telling us that the password must be between 8 to 10 characters. So we can say 8, 9, and then 8, 9. Password is valid. I want you guys to see that in the background, we do not have any code whatsoever. Only this single line the, which, input, which applies or puts a drop shadow to the wind form. That's all. The validation is happening codeless. You don't have to write any code. This tool will take care of everything, every validation. So now let's go to the medium strength and see what we have under that option. Let's give it just to do a moment. Let's write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's telling us that password must contain at least one uppercase. Let's write A. A. Password must contain at least one lowercase. Let's write A. Small lowercase and A. Password is valid. So this is the medium strength. Let's go to the strong strength and let's run. Let's give Visual Studio a moment, please. And let's type a a a a a a a a a let's copy this and paste here password must contain at least one uppercase okay capital letter a capital letter a password must contain at least one digit okay one one password must be between eight to ten characters okay so let's remove two a's here let's remove two a's here and let's remove two a's here password is valid so the strong strength allows an uppercase lowercase and a digit by default the strongest is selected let's see what it has let's give visual studio a moment to build and we're going to type russell and let's type russell password must be between 8 to 10 characters okay let's put uh, b b password must contain at least one upper case s s password must contain at least one digit okay one one password must contain at least one special character okay we're going to put a um, hash hash password must be between eight to ten characters okay so let's remove the first the first two to see what we have password is valid so the strongest allows lowercase uppercase special character and a digit by default this is enabled so there you have it guys this is what we have it's um, a very useful tool that we have right here so if you want to show to display the error you can just capture this uh, password description this contains the description that we see on the label right there and the password status contains the boolean value where you can choose whether the password is valid or not so let's just quickly capture the uh, password status to see what we are talking about so it is a password validation to we're looking at this 
read only property that we want to capture password status password status let's cast this to string because it's a boolean value right no it's not a boolean value sorry it's a it's an enum which contains a valid or invalid uh, value i was confusing this with the email uh, property this is an enum which contains a either valid or invalid uh, result so let's see what we have by default the password is strong so let's say russell let's type russell let's check the password invalid as you can see so this is not a boolean value i'm sorry it's an enum which contains either the password is valid or invalid so you can capture this and use this before you process the supplied password by the given by the user to check whether the password is valid or is invalid let's add some characters a a one one hash hash as you can see right there it says valid so this works whether we are using the low strength medium strength strong or strongest this works we can capture this for example in a switch you can do something like this you can capture the you can capture the password status to string right and then you can write your case here if it is uh, valid you can make you can put this to lower and then if this is a valid you can do something in here and then you break if it is invalid or default then you can do something in here so if the pa given password is valid you can go ahead and create account if it is not invalid if it is not valid you can give some error message which we captured right there so this is how it works it's very simple very easy if from out of the box you don't have to write any code it's very easy and this password error color can be displayed for example if um, you may capture the text changed event of the text box and if the given password status is invalid you can set this to show the error color if you want to see how this works you can go ahead and view the previous video we made about the email validation tool it's just the same implementation where you can implement the theme right there i'll leave you this for your experiment but um, if you face any challenges please comment in the section and i'm going to make a small video to demonstrate to you guys how this works thank you so much next time i'm going to be showing you how to use the citicon credit card validation tool so until that time cheers mm -hmm.